and see any kind of problem, any kind of disruption that hasn't been touched or interrupted by your, Europe. You're kidding, right? Okay, so my so my, so my family is from both. Name Korea, a country Korea, that hasn't been. You, you're saying Nigeria and Cameroon haven't been affected by Europe? That's your argument. There's many countries in Africa that did not have uh, Europeans colonize it, and they're still down today. Look at the Congo, for one thing. We don't talk enough about the Congo and what they're dealing with, especially when it comes to China and everybody that is going into their do, country do, do, do. to abstract cobalt and lithium and all these things that we want here in America to make us feel good with electric vehicles. So if we want to go down that road, we can go down that road, okay? But at the same time, not every country was uh, invaded by Europeans that then uh, put col uh, colonization on their culture and their people. That what did not happen everywhere. But I can tell you right now in Cameroon, uh, are, you have are a situation you, are you, where you Cameroon, have are you, people are, running. Go ahead. Continue, we have tribes thought, in Cameroon right now. We have tribes in Cameroon right now that are trying to run from the military, run from the government, and it is black on black in Cameroon. This is what's happening across Africa. I'm not saying you being a slave uh, from a family of slave, uh, slavery is great. I'm not saying it for myself either. But you can't sit here and say that your life would have been better uh, without slavery because we just don't know. We can look back onto the continent of Africa today and we can say that there are a lot of places where people are leaving seeking refuge to come here in America because this is okay. the land of opportunity.